Dario and Jorah's search takes them to the Dothraki Sea. Dario gets Jorah to admit that he is in love with Daenerys, while musing that there is no escaping men like them in the world, and that he would like to see Westeros once Daenerys has conquered it. They eventually stumble across a circle of hoof prints with Daenerys' ring in the middle, leading them to discover that Daenerys has been taken by a Dothraki Kalasa. Dario and Jorah are climbing a hill in order to get a vantage point over Vi's Dothrak, which is where their search for Daenerys has taken them. Dario continues to make fun of Jorah about how Daenerys chose Dario over him, which annoys Jorah. Upon reaching the top of the hill Jorah lays out a plan on how they are going to rescue Daenerys, a plan which involves sneaking into Vi's Dothrak during nighttime unarmed, because if they were to get caught with weapons they would be killed, because all weapons are forbidden inside Vi's Dothrak but if they were unarmed they could pose as merchants. Dario doesn't like the idea of giving up his weapons, especially his dagger, and is very reluctant about it, but he eventually agrees to hand them over. Just as he is about to hand over his dagger he notices the grayscale on Jorah's wrist. Jorah assures Dario that it didn't touch him and that he is aware of the consequences it brings. Dario and Jorah then sneak into the city during the night. They eventually stumble across two Dothraki warriors, Ego and Igo, in a back alley. Jorah tries to convince the two Dothraki that they are merchants whom have gotten lost in the city, but Ego doesn't believe their story and orders the other Dothraki to alert the city. Dario chases after Igo while Jorah tries to fight Ego. Dario catches up with Igo and breaks his neck before he can alert the others. Due to Jorah's grayscale condition he is unable to hold his own against Ago and is nearly killed right before Dario arrives to the rescue by stabbing Ago in the back with his dagger that he had lied about leaving behind. Dario then attempts to cover up the stab wound by smashing Ago's body with a rock, making it look like he was smashed to death and not stabbed. Although Ago's body is later discovered by members of the Kala Vejvan, Moro quickly dismisses any cause for conflict. As Daenerys and another Dothraki widow, Ornella, exit the temple of the Dosh Kaleem to get some air they run into Dario and Jorah. Dario seizes Ornella and is about to kill her, but Daenerys makes him stand down. Jorah urges them to leave quickly before the bodies of Ago and the other Dothraki are discovered. Daenerys, however, has another idea which involves burning down the temple where all the Khals will be meeting to decide Daenerys' fate, which would prove her power over the Dothraki in the process. Daenerys enters the temple and after threatening the Khals that they will be killed if they don't submit to her, she pushes down all the pyres inside causing the building to set fire. Karl Moro attempts to flee out the back door but is unable to because it has been sealed from the outside and its guards have been killed by Dario and Jorah. Dario, Jorah and all the other Dothraki witness as Daenerys steps out of the burning temple alive. The Dothraki all bow to her, followed by Jorah, and Dario who still is in shock of what he just witnessed, bows last, awed by the extent of Daenerys's dominance. The morning after the burning of the temple, Dario is present with Daenerys when she confronts Jorah about his recent actions. Daenerys forgives Jorah and welcomes him back to her service, but Jorah refuses her offer and rather tells her to send him away again. Jorah then goes on to show Daenerys his grayscale infection and confess his love for, which seems to make Dario not jealous but rather sad for Jorah instead knowing he most likely will die. Instead of sending Jorah away to die, she commands him to look for the cure to his infection so that he can come back to her. As Jorah departs into the unknown, Dario and Daenerys, along with the Dothraki, start making their way back to Marine. On their way back to Marine, Daenerys questions Dario on how many ships she will need to take Westeros, to which Dario responds that in order to bring all the Dothraki and their horses, the Unsullied and the Second Sons, they would need a thousand ships if not more. Dario goes on to tell Daenerys that she isn't a ruler but rather a conqueror instead as her political rule in Marine has proven. However, Daenerys simply states that she simply takes what belongs to her. Daenerys suddenly orders Dario and the Kalasa to stop, and she rides off for unknown reasons. After a long while, Dario announces to the Kalasa that he is going after her. As he is about to leave to search for Daenerys, they hear Drogon approaching, with Daenerys on his back. Landing before her extensive horde, she reveals her true intentions to the Kalasa and Dario, who looks at her with satisfaction and admiration as she promises to lead her people to victory if they stand beside her in the conquest. Dario leads the Dothraki in their charge towards the gates of Marine to end the master's siege, removing the head of the first son of the harpy he encounters. Following the battle, 
Dario is summoned by his queen. As Daenerys leaves for Westeros she breaks her ties with Dario at Tyrion's prompting, fearing that bringing a lover to Westeros would be a detriment to her cause. Dario recognizes Tyrion's influence and asks to go with Daenerys, revealing that he has truly grown to love her, but she refuses him. Dario and the second sons are left in Marine to keep the peace while a provisional government transfers power to the people.